online, are you fortunate enough to have old family photographs in your collection? Well, today we are going to be talking about a very specific type of uh, photograph in our collections called the cabinet card. Hello everyone, I'm Lisa Listen with the blog Are You My Cousin, where I write about all things genealogy and strive to take the overwhelm out of your genealogy research. Well, I am talking about cabinet cards today, and I'm super excited because I absolutely love talking about old family photographs. Part of that is because when I started doing genealogy research, uh, my family was I think so relieved to be able to start cleaning up their closets that they literally would send me boxes of old family papers and photographs included among those. So it's been a lot of fun to get to um, work with these photographs and to actually learn about the photographs. I had to educate myself about photographs and the different types in order to begin the identification process of the photographs because many, uh, I would say most were not labeled and many just today's generations didn't know who they were. Just knew that they were important enough not to throw away, but didn't really know who they were or what to do with them until I came along. So here I am, and we are talking about cabinet cards. Now let me show you, I have several to show you today. So this is one to show you. This one is actually, I happen to know, was taken in 1909 because there's a date on the back of it. Unfortunately, somebody wrote that in ink, not one of my better things things that I would want somebody to do, but at least I have a date nonetheless. Now, what you can notice about this card is it is pretty much a rectangle, almost a square type shape, but it is a rectangle. And this is very common for a cabinet card. Now, cabinet cards, the way you kind of know that you have one is that they, based on size, they were typically about six inches by four inches um, in that size range. So they're a, lar they're a larger card. If you have one of the smaller, tiny cards, that's you might be wondering, that's actually a, what's called a carte de visite, and we'll talk about those in another video, but this is actually called a cabinet card, and it's a little bit larger. Now, when I turn it on its side, you can see that it's a little thicker along the side here. So that kind of, again, tells you that it's, it's very characteristic of that cabinet card. And if you notice, this actually has kind of, it's, it's rather faded, um, but you notice that it is a darker color. It was probably at one time more of a uh, brown gray or a, a more of a darker brown. That's indicative of a later cabinet card. Now, cabinet cards were very popular between 1860 and the 1890s. That was very much their heyday. But what I have seen is that even though they probably reached their peak in the 1880s, that absolutely I'm seeing cabinet cards that are dating into the early 1900s. They just weren't probably as popular. Now, my family tended to be very rural in very rural areas. So I think that maybe they some of these types of things held on longer than perhaps in a more um, more urban setting where maybe newer techniques would have been used a little quicker. So I do see these into the um, early 1900s, which as you can see from that particular one, that was in 1909, so absolutely they're there. The darker colors, earlier cabinet cards will typically be very light, um, often had that cream colored background, but as they got later, you'll start to see colors, different colors show up. Let me see if I can show you one here. Um, now this is actually one, and what I'm going to do is actually flip this one over on its back side. So you can see it has that burgundy color, and that's again indicative of a later cabinet card. So they might have been burgundy or dark green or brown, black, those kinds of things. So that's indicative of an older cabinet card. Again, you can tell it's a cabinet card based on its size. You can look and see it's a little thicker. Now, you might notice this one has kind of a funky looking bottom here. That's because this was in an old family album and somebody cut it to make it fit. So that was why that's there. Now, one of the things that's really nice in these older cabinet cards, now it's here. This would actually be what it is. It's actually the photographer's mark and the photographer's name. And it gives me actually an address for that photographer. Now, I only get part of the address it's Pennsylvania Avenue, so I only get part of it. But 
always flip these cards over because I don't know that I don't know how well that's really showing up for you but what this is is the photographer's mark so it tells me who the photographer was it tells me where they were and that they were in Washington DC so that tells me where this photograph was taken a great clue when it comes to identifying your old family photographs but again when you're looking at these cabinet cards you can see that means that darker color would be an older one of the later versions of the cabinet card okay I've got one more cabinet card to show you so this is again another foot um, card it's I know it's not it's a little hard to see but this, again it's that darker that black that really dark gray black color on it again indicating that it is an older or a later cabinet card um, so this is a great photograph though of a, of a young family and the back side of this one is actually cream colored and there is no photographer's mark on this one you did see people had written who was on who was in here and somebody did take a a ballpoint pen to write on the back of it do not take do not write on your family photographs with ballpoint pens that's a big no-no guys use a soft graphite pencil if necessary okay so again just wanted you to see this is a very typical size you've got the kind of um, the thickness the cardboard thickness that you can feel here a little bit of beveled edging here that's very common and so this is a very typical cabinet card to look at Okay, guys, there you have it. Cabinet cards very started to be in use around 1860s into the 1890s, actually even into the early 1900s, reached their peak about the 1880s. So you'll start to see more of those. You can tell what they are by their size. They're larger. You can tell because they have that thick cardboard paper backing to it. Those later ones have some really fantastic clues about the photographer and who took it. So make sure you pay attention to those. Okay, guys, there you have it. That's cabinet cards. I hope you will join me um, for other videos on uh, where I talk about specific photographs and enjoy that. I will put a link to any of the types of photographs I talked about in the description below so that you can look a little bit more into those if you have some that you're interested in learning more about. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Day. Before you go, hit that subscribe button, guys. I'd love to um, for you to not miss any upcoming videos that I have. Have a great day, guys. Bye.